In this video I want to show you uh, how to script system events when you're using script debugger because uh, if you ever tried to do this before you uh, you know you might have messed around with you know accessibility inspector or stuff like that and even using those kind of tools it's a real you know pain in the neck I find anyway trying to figure out what is the UE elements that you need to click here and click there um, in script debugger this is really easy so I want to show you a quick example and so you start off you know you just in fact I'll show you how to do this because in script debugger you don't really need to type much you just go TA and return and then put you know system events in there notice I haven't even compiled this so you don't need to even compile it but what I can see here, I'm in the inspector view over here and then I'm looking at this this, this is the explorer I just made it large earlier right um, you can see this is a live view of what's going on in system events and this is fantastic for GUI scripting so I'm going to look in the application processes now the app that I'm, I want to script in this example is the app store because the app store doesn't have a dictionary right and all I want the app store to do is to click a tab like updates tab something like that so how do I find out to do that well I'm looking through system events what's going on with it live I can't see the app store here but I've got show more there so maybe it's in there there it is all right if I open this disclosure triangle you can see um, if you've done any GUI scripting before you'll know you're, the thing you're always looking for is UE elements right um, so see what's in there uh, UE element app store <coughs> toolbars toolbar one UE elements again um, All right, lots of UE elements there. Let's just have a look at the App Store. I've got it running already. This is the button I want to click. Uh, so I'll click a different button, Featured. What I want it to do is click this Updates button to see if there's any updates. So that's the toolbar, and that looks like the last button on the toolbar. So I'm going to try UE Element 7, see what's in there. Uh, keep going UE Elements again, UE Elements until I finally get something, let's just make some more space that gives me some info there you go, road strip search text field uh, well that's probably that, I don't want that if that's the last one then maybe it's this one which is B number 6 so we'll look, let's get, clear this up U element 6 UE elements again, just always keep clicking through these UE elements till you find something you're looking for. Right, there you go, Look, description updates, that's the one I want. Now, I've found the thing that I want, and all I've got to do, and this is what I, you know, makes it a real dream, is this is a description of this UE element. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this little fella out here and just clean that up. Well, let's see if we can compile it. There you go, I've got all the code in there already. I haven't actually told this thing to do anything yet. So let's just go tell you element what do you want it to do? Well, I'll normally click. So let's have a go, is that going to work? Uh, doesn't look like it does actually. Maybe what we need to do first is activate the app store. Try that. Oh, hello, that looks good. There you go, look. How easy was that? Let's just see that again. Check it on featured, or let's just put it on another one just to check it wasn't a fluke. Right, we're in top charts or something. Go back to our script. Run. Perfect. How easy was that? Absolutely a doddle. Hope you enjoyed it.